Stephen has, has written to you. We have a copy of an excerpt of a letter that he has written. Uh, he says, hi, Lynn. I see you put another block on the phone so you don't love me. You have to tell the truth. I tell you the truth all the time. Don't you know that this hurt me when you block the phone when a person love you and miss you? I really thought you love me and want to marry me. I'm looking for a good woman so I can be happy with and have a good time in my life no more. I do not want to suffer no more in my time. I did suffer a lot in my lifetime and I only want a good woman in my life and one who loves me back and will do anything for me and make me happy in my life. You know I love you a lot and I need you too, okay? I do not want to hurt no more in my life. I love you. My love for you is the truth. I always get hurt all the time and I always fail bad all the time. I want to be happy with you, I do. Can you make me happy, Lynn? I love you if you want me. Love your husband. Okay. Now, tell me about that letter. That was okay. in May of this year. Yes, he thought that I had blocked the phone because there was a time when I thought maybe this isn't the right thing I should be doing and things are going too fast. So I did put a block on the phone. But in this particular letter, there wasn't a block on the phone. I just hadn't received his call. You say there wasn't a block on the phone. There you was just didn't, not. You just didn't receive the call. I was out gardening and did not hear the phone that okay. day. But it, it made him afraid that possibly I did decide I can't do this mm -hmm. and put a block on the phone again. What was it that was making you nervous? Ridicule from my family, um, the fear of what my ex-husband might think of me because he's actually a 30-year veteran of law enforcement, mm -hmm. um, retired <clears throat> law enforcement. So I guess it was just how other people would look at me and, and it was just a different, completely different scenario for me than anything I'd ever gone through in my life. 